Hi guys, in this video I want to talk to you about a proper typing technique and how it can help you to become a better programmer. So, like many people, I wasn't a good typer. I started using computers when I was a kid and by the time I grew into an adult, I developed my personal typing style using only five fingers. Surprisingly, the problem wasn't the speed. I was achieving about 56 words per minute, a pretty average speed. But the wrist movements I had to make, and that would have probably caused me pain in the long run. So about a year ago, I decided to relearn how to type properly by embracing the touch typing technique. The first thing I did was to print a keyboard layout and stick it under my monitor. So every time I had a doubt, I could check in a second the correct finger for the given key. At the same time, I started uh, practicing on uh, 10 fast fingers and the speed coder, two websites that help you improve uh, your typing skills, about 20 minutes a day. But the most important thing I did was to force myself to type properly from that moment on even if that was difficult. And uh, for the first weeks, it was difficult. I started tracking my progress. And after about two weeks, I was achieving the same speed as my old method. Then, as time went on, my speed kept improving, as you can tell from this graph. After two months, I was comfortable with the touch typing, my speed greatly improved, and I was ready for the next step moving to the US keyboard layout. If you live in the US, this may sound obvious to you, but the English US keyboard layout is the best one for programming, because the people who invented the most programming languages used that layout. Being Italian, I always used the Italian keyboard layout, and while the letters and the digits are arranged in the same way as the US keyboard layout, symbols were not. And so most of the symbols commonly used in programming were difficult, if not impossible, to write in an Italian layout. And so I decided to learn the US keyboard layout using the exact same method as before, sticking a layout under my monitor, practicing on training websites and forcing myself to use that layout from that moment on. After more than a year of touch typing on the US keyboard layout, I can say that my overall productivity increased a lot. And tasks like uh, programming or using the terminal are now a much smoother experience. Of course, living in a non-English country, I still have to use the Italian layout sometimes because of the accents. Luckily for me, most operating systems offer a quick shortcut to switch between layouts. For those of you who are considering if learning proper typing is worth it or not, do it. It takes a bit of effort, but the reward is huge. There are also other super advanced keyboard layouts you can try, for example, Kolemak or Dvorak, that are very interesting and offer quite a few benefits over the standard QWERTY layout, but I'm not ready for those yet. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please consider subscribing to my channel because I will post lots of other projects, ideas, tricks, tips, and uh, yeah, thank you very much.